What is up YouTube? Welcome to another outdoor core video. Today we're going to be going to a train crash that happened back in the early 1900s and we're on the Noah Low Grade Trail here in Lancaster County and it is it is the longest trail in Lancaster County but we parked somewhere so we didn't have to go too far away but let's get into it and let's find this train. And joining me here today is my wife. Say hi. hi. She's gonna be with us for a little bit. Cause going alone on things is not that fun, but I love going with my wife because she's amazing. It reminds me of the trip to get to the to the, the that place super close to me. So if you guys do come here to Enola Low Grade Trail, there is rock climbing. Uh, here's the regulations, but uh, you'll see in a bit when we find the area where you can rock climb, but it's pretty steep and pretty cool. Babe, do not touch it. Live wire. Touch this. Got these uh, flowers here. Yeah, pretty high. That looks like almost up to your, up to your face. Yeah, huh, some pretty long flowers. In case you guys know too, this is very bike heavy traffic here. So we're gonna be dodging some uh, some bikes today. We've seen a couple already and it's a lot of people out today because it is a great day. It's around 76 to 79 degrees. It's got a really cool breeze. And we're right by the Susquehanna. We can't see right now because all the because of all these trees over here. But the cool breeze comes from the Susquehanna and kind of cools you off a little bit. And it is very sunny today. And here we have a rock climbing area. I don't know if you can see the hooks, but it's about 25 feet high. There aren't any rock climbers out here right now, but that thing, yeah, um, I would be way too scared to climb up that. I can't do rock climbing. What about you, babe? Nope. No, no rock climbing? Not okay. It. Yeah, it doesn't seem like fun to me, but it's definitely fun for some other people. All right, and here's the big area for rock climbing. That's still about the same height, but there's more uh, more hooks in there for rock climbers to climb on. All right, guys, check this out. It is a rock slide, and that was actually attached last time I was here. And I gotta tell you what, I would have hated to be on the trail when that happened. So, what happens when a three-ton boulder? hits a train. Well, this train right here found out in December 1981. December 23rd, 1981, which also gave the incident the name of the Christmas train wreck. It happened around 5 p.m. This train was holding paper, sand, and a whole heap of petroleum byproducts, and it was making its way to Morrisville, Bucks County. What the train engineer wasn't aware of is that there was a three-ton boulder that fell off the cliff that day onto the railroad tracks, where it blocked both lanes on the track, and it was about the same length of the train's engine. The engineer only saw the rock come up when it was about 30 yards away. But unfortunately, the train would have needed 
100 yards to fully stop. When seeing that they would hit this rock, the four men who were the crew for that day for the train ran to the back of the cab to jump out. Only three of the four men made it out. At approximately 5'11", CR6267 and CR6253 collided with the stone at 30 miles per hour, folding the two engines like paper. Newey, who was the engineer, bounced in the cab when hitting the rock, but only suffered contusions and back injuries. The accident peeled about 300 feet of track and caused about half a million dollars in damages. Residents of the area reported hearing the impact, thinking it was dynamite going off. What the biggest concern was the petroleum byproduct that was on the cargo. Worrying about the leaking and that the petroleum might set fire, fire companies around the area were dispatched. Luckily nothing caught fire and was later found that the products were NAFID, which means not explosive. After all of that, cleanup happened and the boulder and train was removed. But not all of it. As you can see, one of the cabs was unsalvageable because of where it landed on the Enola low grade line. Alright guys, one last look. And that is the story of the train wreck of December 1981. I hope you liked this adventure. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe and the notification button if you want to see more videos like this. And hit the like button if you feel obligated to or, you know, if you want to. But that's it for today. I'll see you on the next video.